Hello YouTube, it's Hulka here, and uh, it's been a while since the last one of these. A, well, way too long, People. actually. And I probably shouldn't have minimized that. Uh, get back here. Ta-da! There it is. All right, I've got a few things to cover, so let me get started. First up, um, Let's Plays. The Let's Plays that I was doing, uh, Psychonauts and Crusader. Um, as much as I would like to finish them at this point, it's been quite a while since I did the last one. I don't know if interest is still there. I'm not even sure if anybody's even still looking at this channel. We'll find out. Um, at any rate, uh, yeah, I don't have the saves for those anymore. So, unless I get some requests to finish those, and it's enough interest that um, warrants me, well, replaying those games to the points where I was, and uh, figuring that out from there, then, uh, then I might. But uh, for now, I think I'll just uh, stop those. I may go back and finish them regardless, but uh, we'll see. Uh, especially Psychonauts. I hate leaving that one half finished, but uh, it was a good chunk in the game. Mm. At any rate, uh, let's see here. Yeah, as you could probably guess from the timing on this, this is part of a New Year's resolution thing. I uh, want to do something with my YouTube account. Uh, something productive, preferably. Although, Let's Plays, well, they're fun. Um, but uh, primarily, it's this. This is my main New Year's resolution. I'm getting this Flash game finished. Um, current state of it. Shooting. Reloading. Monsters. Monsters. Player death. Monsters death and rudimentary turrets that lag the system like hell. Woohoo. Here, perfectly workable. Uh, there we go. Once it glitches the first time, it works fine. I think it has to do with monsters going up on the roof and then falling off the edge of the world and then falling into the void and then causing an infinite loop and things going crazy. Um, I will be avoiding that in the final version. Uh, the basic idea on the game. Obviously, it's not going to be red box with green stick shoots blobs. It's um, actually going to be a tower defense style platformer hybrid. You'll be able to build turrets along the ceiling. Monsters will spawn at one end of the hallway. You have to make it way past all your turrets and you. That's the key. You are also a turret. Your goal, however, is if you die, and you don't have any extra lives and you'll start with no extra lives what's the point of making it easy? It's a flash game um, or if you you can't just hide in a corner and ignore the monsters because if they reach a uh, computer core or whatever your defensive objective is that also will end the game uh, you'll get better weapons by stealing them off of the turrets that you've built, which will actually sacrifice that turret. You get the gun, you get to shoot things. It's fun. We will see how it goes uh, when I actually get to that. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm planning to do some artwork for character designs, monster designs, turret designs, level designs, well, pretty much everything. Um, and so expect that in video form shortly. Um, by shortly, I mean after I finish putting in the rest of the game's system, such as currently I can put turrets and they just kind of like spam bullets like crazy. I need to get those more under control and only attachable to the ceiling, as well as a purchase menu and probably some uh, like glue you can put on the floor or something to slow the monsters down, um, that sort of thing. I could probably do walls. I was considering putting, I need to put turrets on the ceiling and the floor, but uh, then you end up with a wall that monsters are throwing themselves against, and it's not really tower defense feeling. Because tower defense, you are trying to maximize damage output without sacrificing your turrets. 
and you'll want to use like uh, glue guns and crap to slow them down and keep them in your constant firepower. Um, at any rate, I will be working that out as I go, and I will be doing the game development logs more reliably from now on. And by more reliably, I mean at all, because I did the first one and then kind of petered out. I should not have let myself do that. At any rate, yeah, I mean, this is Flash Game. Uh, the most recent thing I managed to do was controllable jump heights. Little jump, big jump, huge jump. I can do wall jumps as well, but I don't have that, uh, not in this game, I have that in a different game. But enough about that, I'll be doing a full devoted video for that later. Um, but, well, Beep since I lost the Let's Play uh, saves, the ones that I was doing, and Steam's been having a sale recently, so I've got all sorts of stuff. Um, these, right here. Uh, I know you can't see my mouse cursor. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. I'm filming the desktop with Fraps, and apparently it does not do mouse cursor capture. I don't know why. Um, but perhaps it's just convenient because um, it does a good job at any rate um, these are games that I either want to play more of like Starcraft 2 I've beaten the single player campaign but I could do some videos of me being absolutely ridiculously bad in multiplayer I'm not pro at the game I'm not terrible at the game I like to think but um, I'm sure if I ever put up a video, I would be absolutely demolished. Um, but I don't think a Let's Play of the single player campaign would be particularly enjoyable. Who knows? Eh, if there's interest, maybe. Uh, Super Meat Boy. Fun. Lots of death. I've only played uh, the first world, so a lot of it would be blind. Could be fun. Resident Evil 5, I picked that up off Steam could be fun. Dead Rising, same thing. I'm not sure I like the idea of the 72 hour thing. I don't know. Uh, Neverwinter Nights 2. Actually, these three here are all RPGs. Um, Divinity 2 and Arc Arcanum, Arcanum of Steveworks and Magic. Um, they seemed good. I haven't played any of them. It's D and D. It's, it's something. Yeah, it's actually still downloading. Uh, so I literally haven't even played that one. Um, and down here we've got Alpha Protocol, which seems like a good game, and Amnesia: The Dark Descent. Um, these are all games that I want to play. So filming myself playing them easy. Um, much easier than digging out uh, emulators and stuff again. Uh, and playing through Crusader <laughs> from the start. At any rate, um, that's pretty much it for now. Oh, there's... Um, I had a random th idea um, of a uh, kind of doing reviews of free-to-play MMOs and writing them on are they actually free-to-play and how free are they? Are they actually any good? Are they all just grind fests? I'd probably, yeah. I mean, there's a ton of them out there. I mean, the, the mark is absolutely buried in free-to-play stuff. Uh, not all of them are MMOs. Uh, some of them are good, some of them are terrible. And I wish somebody would go through and play some of them, provide some footage and some honest feedback as to how free they actually are and whether they're even worth looking at. Um, something I was hoping for uh, actually quite, uh, several months ago when I was kind of broken looking for something to do. So I thought, hmm. 
maybe I can provide that. So I may uh, put together some a test video, see how it goes. Uh, who knows? Anyway, uh, that's all for now. I will be posting something of worth soon, hopefully. And until then, goodbye.